Thank goodness, you're Noah from Three Right Angle. My name's Lena. You know my brother. His name's Rick. He's in Anonymous Tension. We open up for them. It's nice to meet you, but I really have to go. Sorry. But maybe I'll see you at lunch? You definitely see me at lunch. Unless, of course, you have a girlfriend? Oh, no, I don't have a girlfriend. At least not yet. Yeah, you'll definitely be getting a girlfriend after lunch today. I'll just see if I can stay here. Yes, I didn't see you standing there. Did you find out anything yes about my father? Can we get him out? No, Ryan, the lawyer doesn't have anything new. And they've got video surveillance. Your father did threaten him. For fuck's sake, that's just brilliant. What am I supposed to do now? He's not giving me any choice. Look, Ryan, I don't want you to worry. We're going to figure this out. He's not going to win, okay? There is my handsome boyfriend. What are you doing in here? Jillian, I'm sorry. I've been working on some new music. Is there something going on? Oh yeah, I'm afraid there's a lot going on. Ryan's dad's been arrested. Mick's charging him with threatening him, of all things. Oh my god! We need to go see Ryan right now. We have to make sure he's okay. Well, you don't have to worry. Lewis is over there with him right now. But we could go check on him later. Yes, absolutely, we're going to do that. I better check in with the rest of the band too. Make sure they're okay. And that is what I love about you. You care about everybody else first. Yeah, I got the whole house to myself. At least I did tonight when we go to go play. So, what do you want to do? No, Rick, maybe you should check on your mom. I mean, her fiancé is in prison. I've already talked to my mom. She says she's okay. I know she's not, but, you know, she's putting up a strong front. Maybe you should go check on Ryan, because he's going to need a friend. Oh, you actually right on that. I better do it. I didn't think you were still up. It's a bit late. Your dad's a bit of a handful. Come on, Mom. I want the truth. What are you doing here? What's going on? He's very the smart one. I need you to take care of your brother. For me. Take Mom. Are you taking a piss? Are you serious? You're going to walk out? Again? Why? I'm dying, sweetie. Stage 4 cancer. And before you say anything, there's nothing they can do. And I want you to take care of your brother and your father. I love you. I really did want to start our family over. I hope you believe that. Oh my god, Mum. Does Sean know? Are you going to tell him? Are you going to tell Dad? You can't just leave. Not without saying anything. Not again. Yes, sweetie. Sean knows. He's not going to tell your father. And I don't want you to tell him either. I don't want your pity. I just want you all to take care of each other. Okay? You know I will. Always. But how can you expect me to sit back and not do anything? I have to. This is my fault. I have to fix it. Son, son, you need to stop blaming yourself. I'll get out of here. I got great lawyers. You are not doing anything. You're staying away from him. God, if this goes to trial, if he sends you to prison, what am I supposed to do? Hey, you listen to me, son. You don't worry. It's not going to come to that. Just promise me you'll stay away from him. Yeah, try to promise. I'll stay away from him. Yeah, Mom, so I won't be back for dinner. Tonight, anyway. Well, okay, sweetie. Who's the lucky boy? Wow, seriously, Mom, boy? I'm almost 16. Yeah, Mom, that totally reminds me. I need you to drive me to the movie theater, because I've got a date. I just can't believe that my kids are dating. Oh, God, I feel so old. I need wine. Darling, I'm glad you're here. We need to talk. I changed my mind. I want to get married. Oh, okay. But can I ask what changed your mind? I realize you're the best thing that ever happened to me, and I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you either. Okay, sweetie, now you sure it's alright that I come to watch your band play because I just want to see my baby on stage? Okay, yeah, Mom, maybe if you don't say stuff like that, it'll be fine. I promise I'll try to keep my excitement to a minimum, honey. 
I'm just so excited. Okay, Mom. Um, can I get back to studying, please? Of course, honey. Yeah, she's gonna drive me insane. Yeah, so this is a really nice distraction. I like you, Jackie. Yeah, I feel the same way about you too, Sean. Just been so long since I've been able to relax. I forgot what it was like. Well, I'm happy to remind you and be your distraction. Yeah, I like the sound of that. I have totally seen you guys play every night at the swing. You're awesome. Hey, well, thanks for that. We're just glad to have a playing gig. That's a made fan. Please, I am more than a fan. I want to be a girlfriend. Heck yeah, Cassandra, I'm on board for that. Yeah, this is going to be a really good year. So, oh, Trevor told you your mother left. I just want to tell you, we're here for you. You don't have to worry about us abandoning you. Yeah, Dad, I know that. I know you and Trevor. You're my family. You're not going to go anywhere. Look, I'm not stupid. I know there's something wrong with your mum. I know she would never tell me. I know she probably made you and Trevor promise not to tell me. But I'm okay with it. Look, Dad, she never stopped loving you. She always talked about you. There was never anybody else. It was just me and her. She always wanted to come back. She regrets everything. Yeah, well, I loved your mum too. But we're going to be together, the three of us. We're going to get through this. Alright? So don't you worry. Yeah, I know that, Dad. I know we're going to be fine. My dad's really going to kill me now. I didn't expect all this. I don't know, Justin. I think your dad will be fine with it. I want to say, Tori, you're beautiful and amazing. I hope we can keep seeing each other. Justin, we are definitely going to keep seeing each other. You're my boyfriend. That's brilliant. If my father doesn't kill me first. Speaking of, I better get home. Oh, I don't think so. Not just yet. And I've got you ready. The crowd is going to be me tonight. The crowd's going to be great. It's all great. I sell it every time. Listen, I want not. What do you know? Being relaxed. I told you I'll find him. And I will. Then have I just stop kissing my ass and go find my son. Then come back when you have him. Damien, I'll find him. Then I have to tell my mom that I'm getting married. Be prepared for, to be bombarded. She's going to want a big wedding. Hey, I'm willing to do whatever I have to do, as long as you marry me. Alan, I love you, and I'm sorry that I caused all this trouble. I guess I was just scared. James, you have nothing to be scared of. I'm here, always. Believe me, Alan, I know that. This is a nice escape, right? I mean, getting out of the dorms. Uh, thanks for taking us out, David. Oh, Josie, it's absolutely my pleasure. My god, please spare me, you two. I'm trying to eat here. Cut it out, will you? Kill you be nice. I don't know, Audrey. It just might. My god, you two, will you knock it off? Besides, we gotta talk about midterms. David, don't remind me. Mr. Reynolds is being such a jerk. Speaking of Mr. Reynolds, did James handle that thing? What thing? What's going on? Reynolds is hitting on him again. <laughs> I knew that guy was so pervy. Yeah, I talked to James this morning. He said don't worry about it. Besides... He's going to marry Alan, so it's all good. And now, this is nice, all of us sitting together for dinner. Tell me about your days. Our days were fine, Mom. School's going great. I'm going to bring Jasmine for dinner next week, if that's okay. Oh, well, you've met someone. I'm impressed. I'm intrigued. Definitely bring her to dinner. Well, I have met someone too, Mother, and I'm going to bring him to dinner. His name is Aiden. Well, I guess I'll have to tell Gertrude to make sure she makes enough food. I'm so excited. Yeah, sure. Okay, Mom. Look, I'm going to go a little early because I need to study. It's a lot of homework. Right, sweetheart. Oh, sweetie, tell me more about this boy you're seeing. Mom, I would love to, but I'm going to be late for his performance, so I got to go. Right, sweetheart. How the hell did you get out? He belongs with me. And no one else. Nothing will stop us, your love. I'm coming for you, Ryan. Noah, oh, wake up. Did you really think that your mom could hide you from me? Shit, Dad. How the hell did you find me? So I'll find you, Noah. You're my son. You're all I've got. So you're a band player tonight. Kiss you got your talent from me. 
You hurt mom, did you? What do you want from me? What do I want? You're my only son. My only child. You think I'm just going to walk away? No, I'll never do that, no. Sorry, Dad. But your life. It's crazy. It's not my life. I'm not going with you. Listen up, boyo. You've got three years before you're an adult, so you don't get a say. You think your Aunt Rachel can keep you safe? She couldn't even keep your mother's. You don't get to say her name. It's your fault she's dead. I'm not going anywhere with you. Boy, you are just like me. You're my son. You're coming with me, one way or another. So I can die too, by your enemies. Is that what you want? Your only son. Because I'll be in a box right next to mum. They love me. Best thing you can do is walk out that door and come back. Oh no, this conversation's far from over. Right, Lewis, this is not like you. Where are you? Three wide anglers and keeping you this busy. Hello, you have reached the voicemail of assistant band manager Luis Gonzalez. Please leave a message and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Yeah, Luis, it's your boyfriend. Ryan, where the hell are you? You're supposed to pick me up from work. I'm waiting. What's going on? Sorry, Ryan, but I'm afraid Luis isn't coming. She belong with me. No one's gonna interfere with that. The hell, Mick? How the fuck did you get out of jail? What did you do, Luis? It's probably dead about now. Now let's go.